Hey guys, this is Tanner Gray, also known as Topsail Tanner. Gonna to be very honest with you, this is gonna be a very short but specific video. It has to do with my profession. There are a bunch of things that you need to know when you're selecting a real estate agent or broker. A lot of things people don't like to talk about. Number one is how experienced are these realtors or agents or are they even realtors or are they brokers? There's a bunch of things that you need to know. The one miss concept about my industry is that unfortunately somebody that just got their license yesterday has the same ability to sell what I do with 17 years plus of experience. So one of the things you want to be careful and steer clear of is somebody that shows up with a very fancy pre-made packet because chances are they did not make that packet. Some company did. I had the ability to do that. I never did it. I always showed up with just myself and my personal knowledge. Number two is they'll claim to be a luxury certified. I'm luxury certified in two counties. Does it look like it? Probably not. That's another scary indicator. If you do see somebody that shows up in a suit or a Porsche or some fancy car, they might try to steer you into thinking that their fee for some reason or their listing goes to different places that mine would. That's incorrect. Another thing that is very scary is when you see uh, a realtor's name and all of a sudden behind it, there's a gajillion letters behind it. I don't even know what all the letters mean. It's another separate business that you can pay and take a four hour class and have a designation as long as you meet some certain requirements. If somebody shows up and said, I'm gonna negotiate for you, you need to tell them to go ahead and leave right now because that's exactly what we all automatically do. We're also doing it when we're talking with you as well. One thing people won't tell you is that every listing goes to the same IDX feeds. So what are those? Those are third party lead generating sites like you probably know the big ones. These are really bothersome to me because people pay more money than you can imagine so that they show up on the top of that list. It has nothing to do with their experience. It has nothing to do with what their performance is and their background. People pay to look good and it's not it's not right in my opinion. So another thing you wanna look at is if you see a company that says they have 300, 400 years of experience, take a look at that experience and see who actually has it because chances are those people just had their license sung and are retired. Another topic that you really wanna look at is what else do they have that brings things together in their craft? For example, I have a background in construction, not just knowing them, but I also uh, sold insulation for a year and a half. So I know all about building products. I know how things are built. I know what materials last here. I know what to look for. You know, it's really valuable when you start putting all this stuff together. It's, I mean, it's really important for you to get the best representation that you can. And most of the time, they're not going to be honest with you. That's the sad part about, I have this conversation with owners of companies, I have this conversation with other agents, and they all agree with me, even though they might not agree with this video, but I'm putting it out there for you. Don't get sucked into what you think is the right thing to do. Find somebody local, find somebody that actually has experience and brings value in more than one way than just taking orders and doing exactly what you'd like them to do. The other thing is, if you get to set the price, that is a terrible thing. It's actually against the code of ethics. I think it's 1.12. I was selected to be on the professional standards committee for the NCR on a state level. I see more complaints about misrepresentation about things and hear about these horror stories. You don't wanna become one of those. One thing you wanna ask your real estate agent is what's their listing to sale ratio? Because that to me is one of the most important indicators if they've done a good job, not just now, but through their career. One stat I'm very proud of, every single residential listing I've done on this entire island has sold. If you're looking for an agent, give me a holler. If not, can go to those other third-party websites and just, I wish you the best. My name is Tanner Gray, also known as Topsail Tanner, and this is my island.